My name is Shashrat and I am a legal intern at Lexus and Company. Today, I will be talking about the Hindu joint family property. Now, the Hindu joint family property is the most prospect of the Hindu law. This property is like a big reservoir which flows in form of various sources and from which all members of the joint family draw out to fulfill their interests. Thus, co-parsonary property is that in which every co-parsoner has a joint interest and a joint position. Hindu joint family property includes mostly and mainly the ancestral property. It is the property inherited from father, grandfather, great grand, great great grandfather. It is the same thing as unobstructed heritage. This property inherited from any other relation like from maternal grandfather or maternal uncle doesn't come under the ancestral property. It, uh, it may come under a separate property. Now there are some doctrines under Hindu joint family property. First of all there is the doctrine of detriment. This is actually the property acquired at the cost of ancestral property. Then comes doctrine of blending. Uh, it is the separate property of co-partner which is voluntary known by him into common stock to such extent that it cannot be distinguished from joint family property. And uh, lastly there is doctrine of accretion. The doctrine of accretion is any property acquired with the aid or assistance of the ancestral property. This uh, property that you get uh, with the help of uh, the ancestral property also is known as ancestral property only. Then there comes the life of a common ancestor. The life of the common ancestor is very essential for bringing a joint family into life. Um, because no outsider can be by agreement or otherwise participate in the joint family property. The death of the common ancestor will not result in the end of the joint family. As upper links are removed, the lower ones add on automatically. Even an illegitimate son is a member of father's joint family. However, a widowed daughter may return clean share. Now, you must be wondering, what is a co-parsner? Um, co-parsner is under the Hindu succession law is termed as a, a person who assumes a legal right in his ancestral property by birth in a Hindu joint family. So by birth he has a right to the ancestral property. Uh, then come incidents of Hindu joint family. Um, it is a creation of law. It has no such legal entity distinct or separate from the members who constitute it. Um, the status we acquire into it is only by birth or marriage to a male member of uh, that family or by adoption. Then the status can be lost by converting into a non-Hindu face or marrying a non-Hindu uh, person. Now, it is different from a composite family which means a creature of custom where two or more family agree to live and work together um, and all their resources and throw their gains and labor into a joint store and shoulder the common risk. A joint family may consist of single male member and his wife and daughters on a single male member and a widow co-partner or even when they are um, not uh, demanding a partition. Um, um, one must demand a partition uh, so that he can get the ancestral property. Um, or it, the ancestral property can be divided and the part which uh, he must get gets it.
then comes um, a single male or female cannot make a joint family there must be at least two members to constitute it um, a married daughter gets excluded from the joint family of the parents as she now gets included into the joint family of the husband then comes the existence of the property existence of joint family property is essential in coparsity if a hindu acquires property in his lifetime on his death property inherited by his son shall be held by the latter as joint family property and he will perform coparsity along with his sons as operation of law there is a four generation rule in the hindu joint family property only in this only such males who are within the four generation rule that is um father great grandfather sorry father grandfather great grandfather great great grandfather there must be the four uh, um, generations may uh, there there is uh, then interest by birth the co-partners uh, get uh, uh, sorry acquire their interest uh, as uh, they get born in that family not by the conception per uh, co-partnery within a co-partnery within a joint family there can be co-partnery more than one in a different branches of a family likewise there can be co-partnery within co-partnery the moment of hindu the moment a hindu inherit a property from father grandfather great grandfather he immediately forms co-partnery with his son grandson great grandson um then